Are you happy with the European Union? With directives which break up or privatise our public services, our post office and our railways? With EU rules which prevent elected governments from creating jobs and productive industry? With an increasingly militarised European superstate that imposes unfair trade deals on the third world? With a carbon emissions trading scheme that pays big business to make a profit out of buying and selling pollution rights? And are you happy that unelected bureaucrats in Brussels and unaccountable bankers in Frankfurt have such power over us? The commissioners in Brussels are not elected. We can't remove them. They don't have to listen to us. And they're establishing in Europe a sort of monetary bureaucratic dominance and it can't be allowed to go on. In the European elections on June 4th, you can show what you think of them. Not by voting for the Conservatives. Remember, it was Margaret Thatcher who signed the single European Act which created the internal market, the Euro and an EU army without a referendum. New Labour and the Liberal Democrats promised us a referendum on the EU constitution but then ratted on their promise by forcing the Lisbon Constitutional Treaty through Parliament. Then there are the SNP and Plaid Cymru. They want political power in Scotland and Wales only to hand it over to the European Commission, the European Central Bank and the European Court of Justice. What kind of independence would that be? Then we have the fascist BNP. John Tyndall, founder of the BNP, has been convicted for Nazi sympathies and the current leader, Nick Griffin, has been convicted for denying that the Holocaust took place. Today, the BNP wrap themselves in the Union flag, but they hate everything that's decent about Britain. They hate our tolerant multicultural society. They hate our hard-won democratic liberties and our independent trade unions. Their racist policies would tear our communities apart. Setting neighbour against neighbour, worker against worker. Your vote can stop them on June the 4th. No to EU, Yes to Democracy is a broad alliance of trade union, political and community based organisations across England, Scotland and Wales. We call for more investment in public services, not more subsidies for the bankers. Keeping the post office public and bringing the railways back into public ownership. Support for productive industry based on green sustainable technology. Restoring Britain's fishing rights and control over food policy. Protecting the fundamental rights, pay and conditions of all workers in Britain, regardless of their nationality. The return of our sovereignty. But all these policies run counter to the Lisbon Constitutional Treaty, which none of us wanted. It makes the EU a super state. It gives the EU irreversible powers over Britain and our elected parliaments in Westminster, Edinburgh and Cardiff. It enshrines big business capitalism as the fundamental law of the European Union, making the free movement of capital, goods, services and super-exploited labour its mission statement. The EU as it's constituted attacks our living standards in two ways. It allows factories to be exported and the loss of jobs and it allows lower wages often by the migration of workers to be brought in to break national trade union agreements. The EU legislation in terms of the Posted Workers Directive, which allows employers to roam around Europe and place um, employees in any particular country and not abide by the terms and conditions of that particular industry like ours, which is the construction industry. But what they're trying to do is pit worker against worker. Absolutely. Yeah. When it, we're, we're just the pawn in the middle. It's corporate greed. Yeah, that's all yeah. it comes down to, just sheer corporate greed. Well, we can see today what happens when big business is allowed to run riot. That's why we're asking you to use the power of democracy to demand a different kind of future. Visit our website at no2eu.com. Join our grassroots campaign and vote No to EU, Yes to Democracy on June the 4th.